guys. So to start off a little Halloween series for 2024, I thought I would do something I've wanted to do for a while, and that's show you guys my horror action figure collection. Uh, primarily NECA, and there's a few McFarlane's in there. Now, I do have more stuff in the cabinets, but I think I'm going to save that for a room tour. And the reason being is just that my room is a bit of a state at the moment and mostly because I've got a few projects I'm working on so it just wouldn't be complete but I will definitely get around to showing them but I think for now I'm just going to stick with uh, this shelf here uh, down there you've got my alien and predators and then up there you've got uh, Doctor Who so I think we're just going to stick with this horror shelf now this in itself is a bit clunky because I've recently added some new figures and I'm just not quite sure what to do with them uh, this area over here is much better but we'll start off at this side now I'm just going to apologize for the lighting uh, because the sun never actually shines through this side of the house so it can be a bit dark i've got the lighting on as best as i can uh, but hopefully you guys can see this all okay so we're going to start with my necker frankensteins here we have the black and white edition and the color edition i absolutely love this figure uh, you've got all the swappable heads here looks really really cool and then behind them you do have the mummy with his sarcophagus so i did get the accessory set and you've got his interchangeable heads down here you've got the uh uh i why am i forgetting the name the wolfman that's it i'm not sure why that was so difficult to remember and he is situated at the moment at the back here and behind him you have the creature from the black lagoon the black and white edition such an incredible figure i absolutely adore it i mean i've sung its praises in the individual review so if you guys want to go check that out um yeah it's one of necker's best by far so this is a recent addition to the collection this is the ultimate ghost face now I did actually own this figure once before, but the arm decided to snap off. So I am going to mention that when I do an individual review of this guy, I basically had to take the uh, cloak off and just boil the figure and get it working. You know, come on, Necker, this is absolutely ridiculous. You guys have got to sort this out. Uh, we do have the Ultimate Chucky uh, down here, which I was convinced was actually a bootleg, but I've looked and no, it isn't. I'll definitely be having some colourful things to say about that in the review. Uh, this is actually a Mezco Toys Nightmare on Elm Street. Which which Nightmare on Elm Street film is this from? Is it part four? Or is it part... It's one of those. It's one of those other films. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. Uh, you've got the Pizza of Souls there, which is really funny. And then behind him, you've got the Necker Leather Face, which is a cool figure, but nowhere near as cool as the Mezco one. Although it is getting a reissue at some point soon, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I actually got these four figures at the toy fair that I went to recently, and I got them at very reasonable prices. So big thank you to that seller. Uh, here we have the ultimate Kessler Wolf. Uh, if you guys are wondering why there's so much space here, uh, not like that, it's because I am going to add more figures. Uh, there is the uh, David and Jack two pack that's coming for American Werewolf. Really looking forward to that, as well as lots of other releases like the Evil Dead release. And plus, I do need to get two more of those guys so that I can have all four of them, the Nightmare Demons there. Then we have McCready from The Thing. And then we have the actual thing dog creature which looks cool but is flimsy as hell and just doesn't want to stay together half the time but you know i, I will admit it does look great on the shelf uh, once again apologies for the naff lighting here guys so next up we have my halloween display which i very nearly abandoned i very nearly took these figures off the shelf because i'm just gonna say it the the paint jobs are not that great so i I've uh, got the Dr. Loomis here and the Michael from the two pack. But as you guys can see, or at least I hope you can see that, I have actually custom painted my Halloween Kills Michael and my two Halloween 2018 Michaels at the back there. Uh, if you guys can see that a bit more clearly. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how they've turned out. I've used acrylic pens to do this. So yeah, it's it's really cool. 
Um, there are definitely some improvements I can make. I'm not going to say that they're perfect, but they look so much better than the stock paint. You know, I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry. I was not impressed with these Michael figures. Uh, also, here's the Halloween 2 head sculpt that I've custom painted. You know, I think, I don't know why NECA paint them grey. I think you've really got to have that white to make it pop. Then you've got like the various different pumpkins and things around here. Uh, then here you've got uh, various different accessories from uh, all the different films, um, Thanksgiving, the My Bloody Valentine and a lot of Evil Dead stuff. Speaking of which, you've got the John Carver, the Miner from those films. You've got two ashes here from Evil Dead. And now on to probably the main part of my horror, which is the Friday the 13th collection. So you've got uh, the part two Jason with the campfire. You've got the Part 3 Jason with the mask on and the mask off there. Uh, same with the Part 4, mask on, mask off. Uh, the Part 5 dream sequence at the back. Just try to get that to focus. And then the ultimate Roy Burns Jason at the front. Love that figure. Uh, then you've got the Part 6 Jason uh, which has actually got a customized mask. I've given it a sort of gloss finish just to really, you know, make it look a bit more real. Uh, you've got him unmasked at the back there. You've got a McFarlane Jason goes to hell Jason because that is the only way you can get a figure of that in this scale. You could go for the Mezco Cinema of Fear one, but that is ridiculously expensive and I can't afford it. So you have the part seven Jason front and center because I absolutely love this one. This figure would be perfect if it weren't for the mask. That's the only thing that's wrong with this. So you can see you've got his open head there. The, the mask is just too big in my opinion, but you know, it's maybe in a reissue they can address that. Uh, you've got the Freddy versus Jason here with the original Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy. And at the back, you've got the reboot Jason. He's at the back because I don't really like it that much, to tell you the truth. Uh, at the back against the wall, you've got the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, 2 Freddy Krueger. Uh, then you've got the Wes Craven's New Nightmare Freddy, which is a cool addition to the collection. And then you have the Ultimate Pinhead, which is an absolutely amazing figure. Got all the interchangeable heads down here. I say sorry about the lighting again, guys. But yeah, just to give you guys a look from this angle, uh, got the demon dog tucked away at the back there. All very cool. So yeah, it's a really impressive display. I'm fairly happy with it. Like I say, there's a lot of things that I do need to change, but for now, it's really cool. So I'm hoping to have an extra shelf up there uh, where I can have just Universal Monsters and Hammer Horror because I am really looking forward to the Christopher Lee Dracula and the Peter Cushing Van Helsing. Really, really looking forward to those. Oh yeah, I might as well show you over here. Uh, I do have uh, some extra, so I've got the quarter scale uh, part four Jason, I've got this McFarlane Freddy, and uh, a couple of Chucky dolls, and this uh, Bendy Jason, which is very, very funny. Uh, it's not great, but it's it's certainly a thing, but yeah, happy to have that. Uh, That's mostly Terminator and things up there, but like I say, I will do a full room showcase at some point. But yeah, this is pretty much the gist of my horror collection, and I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, main, the big adjustment I need to make is over there, so hopefully by the time I come around to doing the uh, room showcase, all of the issues with this display will be fixed. But I thought in spirit of Halloween, you know, might as well show you guys this. Uh, really, really happy with it. My favourite figures are definitely the Jasons. I think that. That is, they are probably NECA's best figures, I think, if we're being honest. I think they are what NECA are known for, uh, that and the Alien and Predator, uh, like, and the various issues they come with. Uh, but no, a really cool display and really, really happy with it. I'm really happy with how uh, these shelves have turned out in general. So thanks for watching, guys. Tune into the channel for more Halloween-related videos. Stay safe and happy, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.